I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn hands up! Oh, okay, well... Robbery. Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! No, 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 no. Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, yeah. bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like mm -hmm. that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you I hardly should know do this. you. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. Shut it's up. now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Yeah. Lepidus Cornwall. Oh, great! So you know him? <laughs> we robbed him before. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Yeah, you! Stop! Get back here! Oh, my, that's a lot of people. Is this like Meriwether in the early 1900s or late 1800s actually? This is Meriwether. I'm trying to. Y'all are going way too damn fast. Whoa. Hey. How are we going? Get out of here! What kind of dumb questions? Keep going! We're losing them! Oh, got him. Good job, Charles. Yeah. Come on! We need to lose them! Get me! Hey, my horse is gonna run out of stamina, guys. Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Like, where are we hiding the whoa. horses? Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Alright. <clears throat> let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. What's happening? Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. 
Ain't me. Better not be. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, you freaking idiot. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. Oh my gosh. It's your last goddamn Who was that, Uncle? That had to be Uncle. Freaking moron. Out of the way, Uncle. We got more of the bastards on this side. Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. More on the right here. Yeah. Let me get in there. No, get down! Oh my gosh, you can't hide behind that. Looks like Mr. Cornwall got enough to security. Watch out, Hunter! Out of the way, Bill! Arthur doesn't know how to get behind something. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a fire. They're coming in from the front. Move on. Go to hell. Good chance to get over for you. What is wrong with Arthur, bro? It's very dry wood. Of course, it's gonna burn. I'm coming. Let's head into the woods. Son of a bitch. Into the tree. Come on. You Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Adam. Get the hell off me! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Ugh. This is a young man's game. <laughs> uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Uh, it would be great if they were quiet. <sighs> Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was again. an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Mm. Nope. Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is. Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. <laughs> Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. 
Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Did you see anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. You can shoot the dynamite. Almost a militia. Three, two, one. Wait, dynamite's not working. Got him. Sorry. Just Say that one more time. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Mm -hmm. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! Ah! Yeah. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Oh, Leonard. All right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. Guys, no man mustache. knows another anything. Looks like a sausage no, is just still, on his mouth. I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. 
<laughs> oh, that's Seems like Sheriff stuff. is drunk. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Oh. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. <laughs> Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in <laughs> safe hands have now. Batches now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <sighs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round the oh, yeah. and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she <laughs> went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, go we'll left. take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Dead. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up.
think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so you're real funny, don't you? Uh -huh. Tell me about it. <laughs> that you. is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. anymore do you no let's find dutch and get out of here forgive me but me and my men must return to our lives <clears throat> ah seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine sure would you like us to well, i normally uh -huh. take it for personal consumption it's sort of part of the job but I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. Been a Finally. Piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like kids. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Easy. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I beat you. <laughs> Beat you, Dutch. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I hmm. never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Well, that's cool. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. Okay. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. 
Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Do you know the way? Yeah, I've nope. been there. I have no clue. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Mm, I like it. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, what do you think? my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh, Mrs. Okay. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business what? opportunity. I mean oh. no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Okay. We'll be watching you. You heard That's the man. Fun. Driver, proceed, please. Watch me. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see mm. it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Mm-hmm. This lady ugly as crap. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you Definition your Definition of which? Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. Oh my gosh. Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Hmm? <clears throat> oh my gosh. You got him looking like a re. My bad. <laughs> Idiot. Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. Is I'm my Melvin. Fenton? Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about Ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. <laughs> hand out the liquor. Well, that's a lot of people. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the heck? Oh my. 
What? Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Drink up, drink up. Fenton, serve Hurry these, and serve serve these poor these men, gentlemen, Fenton. Moron. <laughs> oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Go see Fenton at the bar there. A mean job. Oh but a my gosh. Poor. Let him hit the spot. Keep him coming, Fenton. Just keep him coming. Fenton. Keep him coming, Fenton. <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh-oh. Uh, Who that? Lemoyne Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh. Quiet libation? You. Me? You're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're hmm. in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 crap. Shit. Why can't I shoot them? We run the liquor out here. Stay the hell out of our business. I'm coming, brother. I'm a Boy, oh, like do okay. Got him. Uh, hey, hey, this way. Oh, hi there, guys. I didn't know we were just sort of having a party. Let's go. I can't get around the table. I can't get around the door. What the crap was that? Are you good? Probably broke a kneecap. Oh. Come on, Fenton! Come on, Fenton! Dummy. I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? I like how we weren't supposed to like. Oh my gosh. Got him. Oh, he ate it. We run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our business. That's it. I want both those fucking bitches. Got him. Ha ha. Goodbye. You fools are playing the wrong game. You're right. Good. Got him. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, shoot him in the face! Ooh, we barely made that. Oh my gosh, how many shots does it take? Uh. That's him down with. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the nice. Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Mm. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, sure. Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. 
Now you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And mm. then we rob them both. Dang. Before they figure Good out genius. it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. Mm -hmm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Mm. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. They won't recognize her. Oh, my bad. I didn't know we were turning. boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you okay. always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. <laughs> hey, I'm more than willing. <laughs> Best, Best I do. I do it. Here, Yo, don't run over the, ho the horse, the dog. What? No, the dog! Oh. All right, gentlemen. Here I thought we, we are. killed it for a whole second. Okay. Get ready. What? D yeah, put your gun away. What are you doing? Okay. Go to work. Of course. Where are we going? All right. Keep it cool. I know this doesn't look me, suspicious fellas. at all. We're all so wearing black we never leather. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Um, let's do lost little girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. <laughs> so even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? Oh, it's raining now. He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> Shut up. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I'm not sure this is quite the place. <laughs> okay, we're going? No, hold on. Wait till she's got them real down. Would you care to... I'm with child, and it's... I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right. hands Oh, up. okay. It's well, robbery. nobody move. No word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Oh. Okay, the door's unlocked. We're going for it. No, oh, heck yeah. Oh, oh you think oh. we're here? No. No. Oh. oh. Shoot. Open that goddamn vault! Oh, no. Open it! Oh, oh. How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. Yeah. I'm nearly there. Come on. Bro, I'm gonna beat you again. You don't hurry up and do it. You said you're almost there. Too goddamn slow! <laughs> yeah. Yo, you got four, three, two, one. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Mm-hmm. Come on! Like you don't know. There's no way it's that long. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Oh my god. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. 
um, crack yeah, safe. I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <gasps> better be quick. I can't do you anything. You're in the way. Shut the hell up and stay still. Crack open safe. Uh, hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Got one. Hurry up in there, man. I'm trying. How much time you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. How are you getting off? Holy Going crap! As fast as I can. That was a lot this of money. Slower, but it's quiet. We're getting there. Few more minutes. Yes. I mean, stop rushing me, please. I could get more if you would just shut up. Stop having me worry. That's another one cleared. This is. Oh my good. gosh. How much longer? Not yeah, long. There. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. No. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Dude, shut up. Got it. Let's get it. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Hopefully we can uh get back. I think. Uh, what? I think we're fine. Come Don't on, help me the way. Okay. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? They're not going to, are they? Sorry, Lenny. <laughs> You're just walking a little too slow. Go! And look, look, over there! Oh crap. We're already wanted in Balaton, what does it matter? Alright. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Dead or alive. <laughs> yeah, no, I lied. I'm not coming back here, I guess. Whoa, okay. I'm getting the one on the right. Yo, this game is like awful or something, bro. Yo, how many shots? I'm done. My game is like broken or something. I waste so many bullets trying to kill these stupid morons. Yep. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. I'm trying. <laughs> Fast and the Furious type beat. All right. I think we lost him. Thank you, oh, gentlemen. Wow. That was stupid and dangerous. Me very. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't How see much the problem. Did we make? That is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> This is Downs. Is this where the old camp was? It was. Yeah. What up, doggo? My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. 
He was good, and he did good. Mm, obviously there wasn't no choice didn't. in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak he as if kill him was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. Hmm. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? <laughs> That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I know it's been a day and a half. you, General Keaton? I'm Miss Grimshaw. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Holy crap. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. Thank you. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. Oh, gosh. We were just playing cribbage. Not Arthur Sean. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but <laughs> I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got Sean money, Sean needs Mister. to dress better, bro. <laughs> Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> can I drive? No. No? <laughs> no. No, Sean, you may not. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the a, saloon. A thing. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Oh, I forgot I'm not driving. Just in there. Uh, right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you uh, boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. You uh, can't hear that. Fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man is on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, we step. Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? 
What you stepping the for? I'm glad I'm not your brother. Why? Let's get on with this. I'm not Dang, the one. We ain't got to kill him. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Hmm. Just let me deal with our friend here. Go on. Hmm. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Shiny boy. Yes, I, I get to just come over here to watch you kill this guy. That's great. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! After you, sir. Go on, then. Throw it. Come on. Let's put a flame to this piece of shit. No. How do you throw it? Woohoo! Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Wait, uh, that what? You ain't leaving here. We'll hold this lot off. You get those this company going. Somebody shoot him already! I feel you. Thing's not on fire. Ow, bro. I need to get more ammo for my gun. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing! Ah! Go to hell! No ah. way out of here! Holy crap. The fire looks really good on the skin. To hell with you! Hey, ah. There it is! Ah. Maybe they haven't unloaded the cash yet! Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right! Alright, come on, we'll take those horses. Well, let's see if the payroll is actually in there. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Look out! There's more of them! Oh, hey, you son. Got him. Good job, Sean. Straight out the front gate. Head on back to camp. <sighs> you coming? Nope. Um. Sure. Wow. That's a lot of money and flames. Back at Homestead. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Hosea know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting wow. for the smoke. 
I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Okay. Where on oh. earth are we? Get up! Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Out of Someone the way. Got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. <laughs> they went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead Where? the way then. Oh. Place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal. Oh, is that what his name is? Strange. I know. Sure. Formal? No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. Hmm. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come <laughs> You wanna come at me? <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, how'd I feel? You stay there. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Yeah, you do. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, hmm. let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to... Okay, well, so hurry we don't up. Have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. So uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they mm. won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can mm -hmm. handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Oh, what? Ah! How'd that feel? God damn these sons of bitches. Where'd they go? Oh, where? I didn't see him. He's mine. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Dang. Charles, that was nice. Nice, Charles. You should have taken the money. I'm a fool. <clears throat> oh, shit. Thank you.
How'd that feel? Stupid. He should be the last of them. <sighs> All right, let's go back for Trelawney. Put your feet up, why don't you? <laughs> you okay? Never finer. So, who was hmm. they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So mm -hmm. I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Okay, then. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Hmm. Oh, dang, you already got a beard. Must spend a bit then. Um, okay. So that's where we're going to go ahead and leave it. Arthur says thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next one, we will shave. We will shave your beard, Arthur. Can't have you looking like that. I just can't. Not that it looks bad, but like you look better clean shaven. Um. Yep. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Got him.